Hey there, so today I want to take a trip in the clown car that is Kick Vic, and I want to go with all the circus performers right under the big top. That's right, I want to take you on a little trip when they pour out. I want you to be able to see them in all their glory. We can look at where they are, what they have to say, and then what they have to say on certain things. It's beyond absurd. This, for example, this is about Nick Ricada, and it showcases how these people, they don't know anything thing about what they're saying. The implications here, too, is that this person is a paralegal. They are actually tied to law, and yet they know nothing about it. I find that to be the most entertaining part of this, I suppose. And, you know, it keeps getting more and more entertaining as you look through the comments. Now, one thing that really bothers me about all of this stuff, though, is if you look at their expected aftermath, there would be a guy that had his career burned down in Vic Mignogna. They wanted him to be unemployed. They wanted his reputation to be destroyed. He would be unhirable. These folks, they thought they could do that too. They could destroy a man and at the end of it, there would be nothing that transpired. Now Vic, he really went on with this for a little while because he thought he maybe could salvage this. He could salvage friendships. He could salvage people. You know, that wreckage, it wouldn't be that bad. But after a while, he uh, finally seemed to get tired of it and coordinating with a friend of his, Nick Ricada, he decided to put out a GoFundMe. Now, that's been really interesting, too, to see how Nick Ricada has been welcomed. You know, he's been called a blackface lawyer. He's been smeared. There have been people that have gone out and said that he's censured and on. Basically, they have decided that they want to declare war on the one person they probably shouldn't have. You know, because people who understand the law, they can probably make you pay for all those false statements. Here, though, it shows why they make that kind of stuff because they don't understand the law at all. I mean, you've got to remember, number one, Nick Ricada does not represent Vic. That is a very important distinction. But as we go through this as well, you'll notice they don't even understand the basics when it comes to legality. So let's read this. In regards to the whole lawyer thing, I've said my piece because I actually do work in the legal field. So here, they're telling you that, and then they'll tell you their job. Disclaimer, I am not inclined to give legal advice as I am not allowed to do to my position as a paralegal. Only lawyers have that privilege. So please don't consider this post as such. This opinion is coming from my professional expertise in the field as well as being taught in school. Two things with this. Number one, if you listen to this person and how they portray their expertise, I feel like, um, you know, if I'm using another example, I feel like I'm listening to the person that empties the garbage cans at hospitals tell me about brain surgery. It doesn't really matter what you say because apparently you don't understand anything with regards to this case. And apparently you don't understand a lot of things with regards to other cases as well. Also, that statement at the end there, as well as being taught in school, doesn't that sound what, you know, like first year psychology students say to people? You know, if you go and you listen to a first year psychology student, many of them, they have taken one class possibly, or they're in their first class, intro to psychology, and they think that they can go out. They think that they can diagnose and on. You see that quite a bit. This is the same thing that this sounds like. People who don't understand something decide they're going to chime in anyhow. And me, I'm not from this field, and I know better than this. Most people do, but let's go into it. So as a paralegal, I can confirm that both paralegals and lawyers aren't supposed to do something like announcing pro prospects of a legal battle in public, be it in real life or in social media. It's unethical, a breach of ethics, and has consequences due to the classified information being there for all to see, and it renders attorney-client privilege as null and void. As we talked about before, Vic is the person that actually did announce this stuff. And, well, his friend Nick Ricada has talked about it, which he can because he's not representing. Remember, lawyer, friend, 
two different words. They don't look like one another. You know, I mean, when you hear this, uh, it makes my brain hurt. Also, I mean, when you see this, I mean, when you see that it's set up, they're trying to turn this into something that it is not. They're trying to make this a way. They can claim victory because you know what? They're going to be the people that snatch defeat right from the jaws of victory over and over again. They're the kind of people that this is. I mean, if they do have a victory, they just never know when to quit. So continuing on here, this annoys me too, what we're going to see. Granted, court cases do end up becoming public record, but that's only after the case has been settled in court. Actually, that is different. Dead wrong. If you go and you watch someone like Nick Riccata, you'll notice that he looks at different cases out there because we get updates. We get all the filings. Once something has been filed, we can see it. That's how you keep up. We get to do that all the time. You know, any of us can look this stuff up. But apparently, you know, the paralegal here, apparently the paralegal doesn't know anything about litigation, about setting something up in the courtroom. They don't get any of that at all. Beautiful, isn't it? Continuing on, this will also complicate the case later when it escalates to court and it will be difficult for Vic's side as a result, essentially shooting themselves in the foot. Again, this is going with the assumption that Nick Regatta is representing. Maybe you should familiarize yourself on the freaking case before talking about it. Continuing on, pretty sure if this guy is an actual lawyer, here, let me uh, give you a spoiler warning. Actually, Nick Riccata is indeed. Continuing on, he can get sued for malpractice and get disbarred. Is that right now? That's so precious. That is so freaking precious. Continuing, and if he turns out not to be one, I'm sure that's grounds for fraud. Oh, man. So he's fraud now. You know, poor Nick Riccata out there. He's a fraud or he's going to get slammed for malpractice and get disbarred. Bar. Why? Because the paralegal that doesn't understand law says so. And yes, I would like to chime in that uh, many law firms, including attorneys who are in solo practice, do have online presence. But no way in the nine hills would any legitimate professional law firm instigate their uh, opponents into a fight like this. Actually, you know, you do have people that go out and they try to, uh, to attack their opponents online. You want a really well-known lawyer that's been doing that? Mark Zaid. If you keep up with comic books, Mark Zaid, who represents Mark Wade, that actually sounds like it's not real, but it is. You know, he is being sued. Mark Wade is, and Mark Zaid loves to go out and attack consumers in comics because, well, that's the type of person he is. So yeah, you have people out there that these folks would actually enjoy, but no, you know, what do you know? What do I know? So then you have this. This actually starts getting even better here. So much of this. I have an uncle who is a judge, and I know from him that this is true. I have no idea what is wrong with this lawyer, but he and Vic can go be a couple in the hell cesspool that they've created. I mean, what is that? What is that even supposed to mean? I actually can't wait for them to go to court. The lawyer will get in trouble just as much as Vic. It will be just as served. Yeah, you know that all. I have a friend. I have an uncle that's a judge. Well, maybe you should talk to Uncle Judge a little bit more because apparently you haven't learned anything from him except how to st type stupid thoughts. I swear here. So you have more people out there. And this one adds on to, thank you for confirming my hunch as I knew that much from a friend of mine in the same field but did not want to bother her with a weird question to confirm it. Yeah, a weird Weird question out there. Hey, by the way, should I go out and listen to these randos online that don't understand anything about the law? Or you, as my friend, could you actually confirm something so I don't end up online looking stupid? Oh, too late. Sorry about that. Already did it. Sorry. So sorry. Forgive me there. This stuff, it continues on like this as well. I mean, we could go on for freaking 20, 30 minutes laughing at the, the crux of this, but really, I mean, when you get down to it, 
basically you have people out here that again they're sounding off like they know something well they don't sound familiar looking at you ron looking at you jamie yeah in fact lately ron has gone from uh saying that this kind of stuff it's a dumb pr move to uh basically the actual lawyer of vic sounding off that's harassment yeah it's harassing him oh it's good stuff i mean you never get the end of this these kind of folks they are indeed the laugh track that'll follow you throughout your day uh but tell me what you think about this stuff anyway if you uh, like this kind of content if you say that umbrella guy i love what you're doing i love your channel in fact you know will you go and represent me in the court of public opinion Ah, oh, isn't that great and yes i will indeed consider that sold hit that sub button hit that uh, bell for daily subscription and if you want to go out you want to uh, see a little bit more with that say you'd like uh i don't know you'd like an upgrade here maybe you want uh, the deluxe representative package well check out the links in the description below ah law school here i come i mean i'm already there shh don't listen to that if you want to uh, leave comments to make sure that you uh you'd leave them pro or con you know if you got something to say i would love to see that you know you don't have to agree with me like i say there you just leave that and i want to end on this in a way that all of these people you know especially the people that are involved in voice acting now they have forgotten and that is by respecting you for showing up i appreciate you showing up i appreciate your comments i appreciate everything that you do out there these folks they think they can do it without you i know that any endeavor is impossible without the people backing it up so i appreciate that and i thank you for coming here we'll do it again next time thanks